Step two, keyword research. When doing keyword research, we can do keyword research two different ways. We can do a free way and then we can do a paid way. What I'm about to do is I'm about to walk you through step by step and show you exactly how to do it both ways. So here goes the free way. What I usually do to find keywords for free is go to the website soovle.com. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but that's exactly what the site URL is. And it will just give you keywords with multiple sites at one time. So you will see what people are typing in Google, Amazon, Yahoo, Bing, YouTube, Answers, and Wikipedia all at once within a niche. And I'm about to show you exactly how that works now. So let's say I'm typing in Clash of Clans, the game Clash of Clans. Watch what happens. Look what happens. It will auto-populate the most popular searches on each of these right here. And it will show you exactly what people are looking for. So on Google there, typing in just Clash of Clans, then the second most popular is Clash of Clans Hack, Clash of Clans Wiki, Clash of Clans Update, Clash of Clans Builder Base, and so on. It gives you all the popular stuff. Clash of Clans Online Generator. Over here, look at Amazon. Clash of Clans Shirt, Clash of Clans Gems, Clash of Clans Book, and so on. All of these keywords right here are article titles. Please know this is the goal. This is exactly how it works. This is the whole entire goal right here to generate articles. To generate the articles, what you simply want to do is you want to basically write an article around each one of these things to search for. Of course, you don't have to write an article around 30 different Clash of Clans searches or whatever your topic may be or whatever your niche may be. You don't have to write an article around every single one of them, but choose about anywhere from three to 10 of these search terms, no matter what your niche is, and simply get articles written around them. So you can have, you can add your words to it if you want to, add more words to it if you like. So, you know, you don't have to have an article title called Clash of Clans Toys. That's too short for article title. You want to add in your own words, but make sure this main keyword is included in the title and all throughout the article. And if we go down here and look at Clash of Clans Download, Clash of Clans Hack, let's say we was doing an article on Clash of Clans Hack. We could put Clash of Clans Hack for details inside of this article or, or get four details here. You know, you just don't want to put only Clash of Clans Hack for article title because once again, that is too short of a title. Let's say you have access to the Clash of Clans movie. You can put for download Clash of Clans movie and that could be the title of your article or whatever your niche may be. So what I'm getting at here is you want to choose you want to take about 10 of these keywords, anywhere from three to 10 of these keywords that people are already searching for within your niche, and you want to get an article written around each one of these keywords. So when you have a blog that has, let's say, three to 10 articles, and somebody's going there for your specific niche, in my case, it's Clash of Clans, and they looking around the blog, they're going to see multiple resources with multiple things that they could be looking for. If they come there to watch the Clash of Clans movie and I have that file, maybe they want to learn, get some Clash of Clan hacks. Maybe they want to access a Clash of Clans private server. Maybe they want to get um, learn how to do a Clash of Clans update and so on. So regardless, it will be like a one-stop shop for Clash of Clans or whatever my niche or your niche may be on the niche blog itself. That's the whole entire goal. You want to become an authority figure for your topic, for your niche. You want to be the go-to place, the go-to woman, the go-to man, or, you know, Whoever you may be, you want to be that go-to person that people go to when they think about a certain niche or a certain topic. So this is the free way. All you got to do is just, of course, type in your keywords. See, weight loss, weight loss surgery, weight loss programs, weight loss shakes. Over here on Amazon, weight loss pills, weight loss for women. 
uh, weight loss tea, weight loss shakes over here, weight loss pills for men, and so on. So you just simply just type in your niche right here on this website or your main keyword, and it will auto-populate a bunch of ideas to give you, you know, an idea overall of what your article should be written around when you go over to hirewriters.com and get content written. So let's go over here to Word Tracker. I just got a free trial with Word Tracker, but I used to use them a whole lot, and then I started testing other tools, but I see that they've updated it now, so I'm back in full effect with Word Tracker to really do some deep keyword researching. So let's type in Clash of Clans right here. See, I chose United States right there. It's on United States. You can choose whatever country you want, state, any, search. Okay, here it is. It is suggesting exactly, look at this. It tells us even the search volume over here on Word Tracker. So Clash of Clans is typed in 368,000 times per month. COC stands for Clash of Clans 74,000 times a month. Clash of Clans heck. 27,100 times per month. It won't be easy to rank for things with high competition. See, you can see the competition right there. If it has high, high competition, it won't be easy to rank for it, of course. So you want to choose the things with the lower competition. Look at this, 0 0.5. If it's 54 like this, check this out. If you go up here, it will simply say, the higher this number, the more PPC competition for the keyword. So if it's a high number right here, 30.15, you don't want to go for the high numbers. You want to go for the stuff, see, 0 0.5 right here, 5.5 right here. And this is Clash of Lords 2. That's a different game. Clash of Clans, GM Hack 25. Let's go. And basically what you want to do is you want to just... Clash of Clans Guide, look at this. Clash of Clans Guide 1.23. That would be absolutely easy to rank for. You could probably rank for this in less than a month, maybe even way sooner than that with a low competition like this. And if you are on the first page of Google with the keyword that's typed in 880 times a month, please know that you're going to get some a nice amount of traffic to your blog post. Let's say if you are ranking, if you got 10 blog posts and three of them is ranking on the first page of Google for multiple keywords, you will eventually have thousands upon thousands of people visiting your blog every single day because your keywords are being found in Google and they are trapping the Google search engine overall. Let's type in another keyword. Let's type in keto diet. When I type in keto diet, as you can see, it's typed in 2.4, I mean 2.2 million times per month. Look at all of this right here. Keto, 368,000 times a month. Keto diet menu, 368,000 times a month, and so on. So what I'm getting at here is where tracker is not only going to tell you exactly what people are typing in, but they're going to also tell you the search volume and the competition for each keyword that you want to search for. This is absolutely critical and it has a huge advantage over this one, over the free tool, because the free tool is only going to show you exactly what people are looking for. It's not going to tell you how often to search for and it's not going to tell you the competition. One of the top things you want to pay attention to is the competition because you might choose a keyword that got 99.56 competition and you wouldn't rank for that if you lived an extra hundred years, you most likely won't rank for something with that competition, with that amount of competition, because these are people that have hundreds of millions of dollars of ad spend to push their sites on the top of Google and SEO budgets that big. You know, they have huge SEO budgets, so you would never rank for keywords with such high competition. But when you are doing keyword research, all you need is either the free tool or the pay, to, the pay tool to find any kind of niche that you want to give yourself all types of article because that's what this is for. This is so we can find highly targeted keywords for our article titles. So if I want to do keto diet for beginners, if this had a low competition, of course it don't. 
that can be an article title. This can be an article title. This can be an article title. So you want to get a bunch of different keyword ideas for article titles. Whenever you use one of these keywords in your article title, of course you want to tell your writer to sprinkle this keyword all throughout the article as well to give you that extra push in the search engines. But as you can see, it's super simple to do keyword research and this is really all you have to do in order to niche down and find the best keywords for your niche and for your, you know, for your marketing campaign, for your niche blog overall. This is all you have to do right here is use the free keyword tool or the paid keyword tool and you will most likely have a blog up and running stronger than ever and aiming for the search engines in a matter of no time.